And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Neither shall they say, Lo here, or lo there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. And he said unto the disciples, The days will come when ye shall desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and ye shall not see it. And they shall say to you, See here, or see there. Go not after them, nor follow them. For as the lightning that lighteneth out of the one part under heaven shineth unto the other part unto heaven, so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. But first must he suffer many things, and be rejected of this generation. And as it was in the days of Noe, so shall it be in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage, until the day that Noe entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they builded. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven, and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day he which shall be upon the housetop, and his staff in his house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. I tell you, in that night there shall be two men in one bed, the one shall be taken, and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinding together, and one shall be taken, and the other left. Two men shall be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, thither, Will the eagles be gathered together? And just like in the days of Noah, as the scriptures say, you had Noah prophesying, and the people of the earth not one to listen, not one to wake up until the destruction came upon them. And just like here in Hawaii, once it was said that missiles would strike Hawaii. They never did. People discounted the situation. But now Hawaii is on fire. And that destruction came out of nowhere. And that's the same way that the Lord has always brought destruction upon Israel and brought destruction upon whatever nation that he sent his prophets to prophesy against. It's no coincidence that the Lord has woken up thousands and thousands of men to become his prophets. His men who say before, prophesy means to say before. And the men of the Lord, based on the scriptures and based on uh, observation, you can see that the world is about to go to war, basically, with America with Israel America's about to be on fire just like this place is right here that's why we don't have time for carpe diem we don't have time to for, for, for yellow all those movements were designed to put you to sleep and for you to not see what's right in front of your face that's why you look on the internet, you look on YouTube, and you search certain top, ter- certain topics, certain men of the Lord are going to pop up with the answers that you're looking for, because the people are looking for answers, but they're looking in all the wrong places, they're looking for all the wrong reasons. According to the scriptures, America is going to be destroyed. whether you believe it or not. The men of the Lord were set up to give you that. That's why it's high time now to wake up out of sleep and to labor forth to help seal the elect because two-thirds of Israel is also going to be destroyed. Call the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rekwakadash, the Bonus Apostles, Elders, Great Millstone, Peace and salutations to you, sincere brothers. Shalom.